In this video, I will show you how to connect the Blue Rough 2 camera onto a separate UDP port. First, let's have a look at the Q ground control. If you go to the settings and you scroll down, if you look in the video section, you can see that the uh, present UDP port being utilized is 5600, and that connection is not allowed to be shared. So what you're going to need is you're going to need to go in to your web browser and type in the address 192.168.2.2 column 2770 forward slash camera. This will connect to the Blue Rough 2 ROV and if you go to the camera setup page you will see this page over here and this is what you basically need to put into this box especially here you're telling it you want to have a multi UDP sync to two client connections one of which is the one that is presently being used by your ground control the other one is a new connection that we will connect to once you've clicked on apply GStreamer options, the next thing you need to do is to download an SDP file. Go to our website deltarov.com in the download section and then download the BR2 SDP file. This stands for Session Description Protocol. This file is basically a text file. Let's just go and click and show in folder. Right click, open with notepad. So SDP file again is session description protocol. And in here, we're basically giving the address with the port 2000 for the connection. So this is the same one that we've seen in the camera setting. So it's gonna try to connect to that port. Let's just close that file and now let's right click open with VLC media player and this connects to the Blue Rough 2 camera so let's just start over here Q ground control and show you that I have two connections at the same time As you can see, there's a bit of lag between the uh, VLC media player and the Q ground control. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open up Ocean Vault Recorder. And over here, we go to Video In. In the IP camera section, you click on the Options menu. I just simply click on Blue Rough 2 camera. You can see that right now this is just basically pointing to the SDP file which is saved in the same folder as the exec executable. Now just click on preview. And there you have it. For a quick test. Fairly the same delay. And this basically concludes the video on how to configure the Blue Rough 2 for a dual video display.